Hi YouTube, my computer turns on. I have Windows 10, but this is what happens when I power it up. Turns on fine. I see the ThinkPad logo here. It's a T400 from ThinkPad. I mean Lenovo. I see Windows logo. I see the spinning circle right there, which is a good sign. But the problem is, instead of a login page, I see a black screen. If this sounds familiar to you, then you should watch this video to see how to fix this issue. Now, we need to get into advanced Windows startup option. To do that, basically we need a Windows 10 bootable disk. But for the people who don't have those disks, there's another option. I'll show you how to do it. Press and hold the power button of your laptop until the computer completely shuts off. I'll press and hold until it's off. Okay, lights are off except the charging light. I'll turn it on and the computer turns on. When you see the Windows logo, try to press and hold the power button to shut it down one or two more time. I'll press and hold to turn it back on. And when I see the Windows logo again, I'll try to shut down one more time. Then the Windows will try to lead me to the advanced startup option instead of just doing a regular boot. Now let me power it back. And I think this time the Windows will lead me to the advanced startup option. Good sign. Preparing automatic repair. The Windows 10 is now thinking that there's a problem with the Windows system file and is trying to fix it itself. After this, I'm pretty sure we can access the Windows advanced startup option without that bootable Windows 10 disk. Now, automatic repair, restart, and advanced options. That's where we are heading. Click that. From here, troubleshoot. Click advanced options. All right, now I see many options that we can try to address this issue. All right, let's try to work it out together. The first thing I would try is system restore. Choose that. Click your account. And enter the password. Okay, we have no luck. Unfortunately, we have no restore points to try to restore. Click cancel to go back. Click troubleshoot. Click advanced option. Okay, we're gonna try startup repair. That is most basic troubleshooting tool provided by Microsoft. But this also could fix your black screen of death. Click that and see if it fixes that black screen issue on your Windows 10. And sometimes that black screen caused by recent Windows 10 update that doesn't work well with your current version of Windows 10. So by trying uninstall updates sometimes fixes this issue. Well, let me just try both and see how it goes. Click uninstall quality update. And it says we ran into a problem and won't be able to uninstall the latest quality update of Windows. Okay, there's no luck here. Let me try the second option, advanced option, uninstall updates, uninstall latest future update. Okay, let me try this and see how it goes. Uninstall future updates. I guess uninstalling the future update did work, but I'm not sure if that will fix my black screen issue on Windows 10. We'll see. Okay, it says restoring your previous version of Windows. Alright, in my case, uninstalling latest future update, the Windows update, actually fixed the issue. Now I can tell the black screen of death in my case caused by the latest Windows update. But if that didn't fix your issue, let's go back to the advanced option and try the other stuff. Let's try command prompt. Alright, you need to log in. Enter the password. And what we're going to try here is we're gonna try to see if there's any problem with your 
physical hard drive and then if there is we're gonna try to fix that error so type this command yeah I see users windows and program files folders and I can tell that is my main drive that's how you find uh, start from C try to access all the drives that you have starting from C in my case D drive was my main drive how to tell you can simply type DIR and if you see users windows program files folders that means this is your main drive so type this command chk dsk space slash f space slash r and hit enter it'll confirm yes or no say yes type y hit enter then this will scan your main drive and if it finds any kind of bad sectors or errors on your drive it will try to fix it itself and by doing this you may fix that black screen of death and also it takes a long time so just leave it like that connect your power adapter to your laptop and wait until it finishes after that you can close that command prompt and you can restart your computer to see if that have fixed your black screen of death okay now that's the last thing we want to try the reset this PC so this option is the final option it will remove everything it deletes your photo files documents applications how do I make a backup if I cannot get into my Windows 10 good question you have to remove a physical hard drive from your laptop and make a backup if you look at the description section of this video, I'll include all the videos related to how to make a backup after removing the physical hard drive from your computer. And you can watch those videos to learn how to make a backup. If you choose Keep My Files, it'll keep your photos, documents, and any other files under your personal folder. But it'll remove all of your applications that you have installed previously. If you choose remove everything, that will perform a complete factory reset. So it will remove everything. Make sure you have a backup before you do that. If the first option fails, you only have this second option, which you don't really want. Alright, I hope this video was helpful to troubleshoot your black screen of death on Windows 10. And if you have any questions, leave comments. Um, I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.